Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. This is very amazing session of every one of you where we will be build and learn how to make the chatbot just like ChatGPT using open source LLM model and with the help of Grook AI platform. So first of all, let me tell you how this application will work. So guys, this is the chatbot with the help of Grook LLM and here you can ask any query, whatever you want. Let's say I am asking add bulk data into SQL server using Python and C -sharp. And here you can choose your whatever the LLM models you want. So right now I have added Llama 3, 70 billion, 8 billion, Mistral and Gemma from Google. Now let me click on submit. So guys, you can see this. This is very fast as compared of chat GPT. So guys, right now this is running on your local system. So it is working very, very fast. And here you can see the response, right? So we are going to add the data into the SQL server using the Python or C -sharp. So here we are using the pandas and pi odbc. We are making the connection and inserting the data. And the same thing we are doing using the C -sharp. And here we are going to store our history as well. The same answer if I want with the help of Mistral. So simple, you can choose your model and now you can click on submit. So guys, again, we are getting the answer in different way. Similarly, now let me try the same thing with the help of Gemma. And now let me click on submit. Look at this, right? Very, very interesting. And now let's say you want to go back on your history and you want the same thing which we asked earlier. So you, now simple, you can click on it and you will get that output. Okay. So guys, to develop this project, we need our API key from the group platform as we discussed in the last session. And again, I will explain how we can get that API key based on your choice. And you can choose your LLM model like these. All right. And to interact with this chatbot, we can utilize the features of Streamlit. Okay. So let's dive into it. So guys, first of all, let me tell you how we can get the API key from the group platform. So simple, you can search here the group API key and this is the official web page from the group platform. And here you can register with your personal email ID and I have already registered successfully. And now you will have this section. Now you can click on API key and now you can click on create API key. Now you can type the sensible name. Let's say boat API key or maybe group API key like this. And now you can click on submit. And here you will get this API key. All right. And now what you can do and here you can open the VS code. And guys, first of all, let me create a dot environment file. So dot env file. And here I am going to store my API key. Like this easy. And guys, it is highly recommended. Do not save your API key in your live code. It should be the part of config file or you can store in dot env file. Similarly, let me create another file that is app.py. Simple. And guys here, first of all, we will be import our necessary library. Let's say import OS. And guys, I need import streamlit as ST. And from the group platform, I need to import the group. And I need to load my environment. So I need dot environment and I need to import load environment. All right. So these are the necessary library we need. So first of all, I am going to my load the environment. All right. And after that, I am going to get my API key. So group API key equal to OS dot get environment. And here we can supply the variable name, this variable. Easy. No difficulty, right? And now after that, guys, first of all, we will be create a web UI with the help of Streamlit. So I am going to create, first of all, the sidebar dot title. And here you can write any heading. Let's say I am writing personalization. And let me define the prompt, first of all. So prompt would be from the st dot sidebar dot title. And let's say I am writing here the system prompt. Simple. And guys, here we will be choose the LLM models. So st dot sidebar in the sidebar, I am going to provide a 
combo box or you can say that list box where user can choose their LLM model. So choose a model. And here we can supply our model names. So guys, these are my model. Llama 3 with 8 billion and Llama 3 with 70 billion and Mistral and Gemma 7 billion. Easy. Now I am going to initialize the group client. Okay. So let me initialize the group client. So simple client and here using the group which I have declared here and now I am going to pass my API key. Simple. And now guys I will be create a streamlit interface. Okay. So first of all let's say we need you know some emojis. So you can go to the Google and here you can write emojis db. So these are the emoji DB and here you can search anything. Let's say I'm looking for the chat. You can click on search and let's say you can click on copy. So it is copied successfully. Right now what can I do? So st.title I am going to define the title and I'm going to paste that and now chat with Grook LLM or chatbot whatever you want. You can supply here and now I am going to provide a user input. So let's say st.text input and enter your query or prompt whatever you want. So first of all let's say I am providing just blank. Easy and now I am going to create a button let's say if st.button that is submit okay this is my button so guys whenever user will enter the user prompt and then you need to click on the submit button once you click on the submit button now you will get the chat completion from the group platform so i am going to define a chat completion equal to client dot chat dot completions and create i am going to create guys first of all our messages And here I need a role. Role should be user. And content should be user input. Correct? Easy. And now here you can define the model, whatever the model you want. Easy, guys. So here the user will have the all the model name. So whatever the model you will select, that model will be saved in this model variable. All right. And guys, now I am going to store the query and the response in the history. So let me write here. Store the query and response in history. So let's say I am going to create a variable that is called response. And now dot choice or you can say that choices and I want the very first item message dot content easy and guys whenever you are asking uh, any query so that query I am going to store in the chat history as well okay so let me initialize the chat history session state for history so if history not in the streamlit session state then what I want I am going to create a blank list like this all right and in this list I am going to store the history so st dot session state dot history dot append so guys first of all i am going to pass the query in the form of user input and here i am going to store the response as well simple and after that guys i am going to display the response so simple st dot markdown 
So I'm using div class and the response. And unsafe allow HTML. Easy. And once it's done, then I am going to display my history. So guys, st dot sidebar dot title, and here I am going to define the title for history. And for I, and I need a entry using the enumerate. And here st and session state. And guys, history. So if sidebar dot button so my query from the one and i am going to start the entry are you understanding why i am using one so enumerator by default will be start from the zeroth index so i am using i plus one and after that i am going to pass my entry and whatever the query i am getting interesting so it should be st dot sidebar and here, guys, again, I am using st.markdown. So simple, I can copy this line of statement. And here, I can paste. And here, we need to change only the entry for response. So guys, this is done. So let me explain again. So first of all, we have defined the necessary library, and I have loaded my environment. And I am going to create you know, some personalization and some title. And using the select box, you can choose your whatever the LLM you want. And here I'm going to pass my API key and some sensible title. And this line I'm using for storing the history. And here user can provide their queries and it will be hit on your LLM models. And guys, this is the chat section. Whatever the query is raised by the user, that query will be hit on that particular model. And now here I'm going to display that model. And here I'm going to display the history. Now let me run this. So how we can run? So simple streamlet run app.py. And here, guys, I am using a specific port. Simple. So guys, here we are getting, you know, some exception. There is a no attribute that is called sidebar. So it should be sidebar. So the line number, okay, there is a no line here. Okay, that's fine. Simple. Now you can save and here you can rerun. So guys, it is run successfully. Now you can ask, let's say list comprehension using Python with 10 examples. Now let me run this. So first of all, I am asking this query and you can see here. And now let me click on submit button. So guys, again, uh, streamlit has no attribute markdown. Again, guys, you know, some mistake. Now let me correct the markdown. And similarly for here as well. And now let me click on save. And now guys, you can click on submit button. And here you can see, here are the 10 examples of list comprehensions in the Python. Easy. Right now I am using this Llama 3 model. And here, if I want to use, let's say Mistral. And let me click on submit button. And here I am getting, sure, I would happy to provide with 10 examples of list comprehensions. So list comprehensions are concise way to create a new list by performing an operation on each item in the existing list. And now you can see here, there is a diff 10 different examples. And similarly, let me perform with the Gemma. And now let me click on submit button. And guys, again, we are getting, you know, some different examples. And now let me, let's say who will won the election in 2024 in India. And guys, you can see here, I'm unable to access the current event or real-time information. 
Now, similarly, ask can you import bulk CSV data in SQL Server using Python and VB A programming? Let me click on submit. And guys, now you can see here, this is very interesting. And it is showing the same thing with the help of VB macro, and it is going to explain how it is working. And now the same thing if I want with Llama 3. And now let me click on the submit button. And guys, here I am getting this different answer. Okay. Same for Python and same for VB programming. Very, very interesting. Right. Now let me ask another query. What is the group platform? And what does it? Let me click on submit. So guys, you can see here how it is fast as compared to chat GPT as well. So Grook is the platform that allow user to create, deploy and manage the machine learning model at a scale. And it is end to end ML platform that provides a suite of tools and features to streamline the entire ML life cycle. And what we can do with the help of uh, Grook platform, data preparation, model development, model deployment, management, monitoring, and a lot of things we can do with the help of group platform. And guys, one more thing, whatever the query you are asking, right? That query is going to store in your chat history. Let's say if I want to see, let's say this response, so simple, I can click here and I can see that that response. If I want, let's say this, now I can click accordingly, whatever you want. All right. And again, this code is very neat and clean. Simple, you have to register yourself on the group platform and get the API key and the same code you can copy and paste. All right. And if you are looking more in terms of LLM or RAG or the group platform, please let me know in the comment box. And for now, thanks for watching and have a great day.